iconic sports venues in the lower 48 built back in 1957 under the title of City Stadium. We are at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We all know this community lives for its Packers and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Back now comes Tampa Bay. This is Leonard Fournette. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Brady's pass there, complete to Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there and a first down. And I put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be the first of many because once they get going, look out, things tend to snowball. Tom Brady trusts Gronk as much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and when you see that. And that's saying something. That's saying something right there. But he's earned it. Brady's throw there complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Brandon, unless my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, it's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. From the gun on third down, Brady. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. On fourth down, Ryan Suckup now for the Buccaneer field goal. This from 36 yards out. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points.
The punter pinion now to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 26. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Robert Tanyan was the one he was looking for, and it's third and five. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And past the 40. The four is out of bounds. Rodgers teaming up with Lazard there for a Packer first down. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there. Up and relax a little bit. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks' 40-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. Adams hauling it in from Rodgers. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams, 42 yards. And the Packers have taken the lead. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. For the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. 
They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And his throw is incomplete. Gronkowski the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, it's Brady. He gets it to Brown, good play. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brown, his first catch, it's a first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Airing this one out for Evans. It's caught at the 10. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 49 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now Jones. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. And as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. And it's up and good. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Seven, our score after one right here on EA Sports. Here's Jones. 
And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks' 43-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Picked off at the 28, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Throwing on second down, Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. Shotgun now for Brady. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And a points result, we'll call this play significant. Operating from the gun, Brady. On the comebacker, complete. It's Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to the throw. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Brady to throw again. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. To throw again, Brady. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Seventh play of this drive coming up, and a long way to go on third down. Now Brady again. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Fournette fighting through. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Throw by Brady, incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. This is caught. Gronkowski. He's down inside the ten to the eight. 
And it comes on a gain of eight. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run right after the catch. The Bucks on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. That's what I'm talking about. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out in a passing formation, spread things out a little bit, makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you've got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, yeah, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Extra point put through by Suckup. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And the drive starts with a completion left side. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of six there on first. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. All right, I need you to check my eyes here. This entire unit defensively, I think, has looked really strong in the first half, especially in the secondary. They've been cohesive, fast to the football. We just saw another example arriving there to help knock that one away. To throw, it's Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. It's taken to the 26. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Now they have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Brady now on first down. Airing this one out for Evans. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down to the 47 yard line. Now a first down carry by Jones. He takes it down to the 42, a five yard run.
second and five now. Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Rodgers now on first down. The quick slant caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, the ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Rodgers to throw on third and one. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. They run. It's Williams. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Back now comes Tampa Bay. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half.
Brady now on first down. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Ten more there and another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, he's going to make a play for me. I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first down, Brady. And he gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. That catch good for only a couple. Well, that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Eight yards to go on second down. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing round. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. A big play there just before halftime. 41 yards. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And this carries into the end zone. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second and six, just inside the 30. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And this will be a Packers first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Give him 10. In there, good enough for a Packer first down. <laughs> now they'll throw with Rodgers. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw again, Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. 
Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Shotgun now for Rodgers. This will be caught at about the six. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And the second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones taking it in. And the Packers have retaken the lead. They got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pads? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people and power his way forward. Crosby with the extra point, And that will make this a four-point game. the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. We'll see what they have up their sleeve. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six, Brady. He's going to air one out. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working from the gun, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point, 
and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything's working pretty well for the defense. Yeah, what's going on on the defensive That's side? That's a line. tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pickup of 24, and that's where the play began, the 24-yard line. Well, this has been all that we'd hoped for. Two of the game's all-time great QBs slugging it out in a one-score game here in the second half. First and ten. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. On second and 11 now. Rodgers incomplete. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Here's Rodgers to throw. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Bucks are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. And Brady and the Buccaneers here first and 10 at their own 13. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Welcome to the NFL, baby. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. Shotgun now for Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
And a nice gain of 21 yards. But well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Throwing on first down is Brady. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. On first and 10, here's Brady. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. On third down, here's Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Well, go with Jones. He finds some open field here. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Ronald Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs have taken the lead here in the fourth. Uh, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. the touchdown now it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away taken in at the three and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line the Packers offense now heading back out onto the field and they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Rodgers again here on second and 10. And this time, he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Well, you, a gain of 13, it's a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. 
From the gun, it's Rodgers. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. To throw again, Rodgers. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. He's going to look deep down the field. And that will be incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. Here's Mickens to return. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? You know what the four-minute offense is? is? You're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try to run some clock now with Jones. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Zadarius Smith able to get him down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Brady's throw there complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And now this pass brought in by Brown. That catch good for only a couple. Scrimmage the 36 on second and eight. Fournette on the counter. And not much running room. Down to the 32. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Brady. He's got Evans. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. And not 
totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Too short here with third down coming up. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the game that he did. Brady to throw. He'll find Miller. That's complete. And they're going to mark him down short. Maybe by about a yard, if that. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. They'll run it with Jones. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.